Hey, what's up, guys? I think it's finally time that we uncover the truth about the Uncovered Jailbreak. So, if you guys don't know, this is the Jailbreak utility released by Pwn to own over this last weekend. Now, he used to be a part of the Electra Jailbreak team a few months back. They split ways. He said he was going to create his own Jailbreak utility, and the day has finally come. It is now released. And as you guys can see, it's for iOS 11 to 11.4 Beta 3. The same support of the Electra Jailbreak, but now it's all in one utility for iOS 11 to 11.1.2 as well as 11.2 to 11.4 beta 3. So again, just to reiterate, this covers iOS 11 all the way up to 11.4 beta 3. No new news about 11.4 or 11.4.1 or any version of iOS 12. Anyway, in today's video, I want to show you guys how to transition over from the Electra jailbreak to uncover if you guys so want to. Now, as you guys can see, I'm currently jailbroken with the Electra jailbreak. My phone's on iOS 11.3.1, and I figured the majority of users watching today's video are going to be in the same boat, at least jailbroken with the Electra jailbreak, and are wondering what the hell this uncover jailbreak is. Well, I'm going to show you how to transition entirely over from Electra to this new jailbreak. Again, if you're brand new to jailbreaking, or if you've yet to jailbreak your device on iOS 11 to 11.4 beta 3, Skip forward a little bit in this video and we'll go over how to install that on stock iOS if you're not currently jailbroken. Anyway, I waited a few days to do any coverage on this new jailbreak utility just so the developer had some initial time to squash some of the initial bugs present in the few releases and I'm glad I did because in the last few days, six updates have been pushed to this jailbreak utility. There were quite a few errors. Granted, this is the developer's very first jailbreak and supposedly it's much more stable and it has a lot higher success rate at actually successfully jailbreaking, re-enabling the jailbreak than Electra. Also, another reason why I think you guys might like to transition over to this jailbreak is this one will always include Cydia. Electra, as you guys may know, will soon be updated to include the new package installer, Cilio, which entirely replaces Cydia. So if you guys want to retain Cydia and use that as your main package installer, Uncover is going to be the route you want to take. Anyway, just a few steps to do before we jailbreak with Uncover. We're first going to create an iTunes backup of our phone just in case anything goes wrong to ensure we have a backup of all of our user data. Secondly, we're going to install a few things. We're going to install Rolectra to unjailbreak our devices first. And then third, I wanted to talk about one tweak real fast, and this one is called Flame. So I highly suggest you guys install this tweak real quickly. Um, it allows you, if you go into the Install tab and click on this folder icon right here, it allows you to create a backup of not only your currently installed tweak list, but also your sources and repository list. So you guys can quickly install those sources and re-add the tweaks once you re-jailbreak. Anyway, sends an email to yourself with all this information and it's a great way to quickly back up your sources and tweaks. Anyway, once we have that stuff covered, like I said, create an iTunes backup um, and now we're going to head into Rolectra to unjailbreak our devices. Now the developer of Uncover suggests that you perform a full restore, but if you guys want to retain user data, just deselect that right at the bottom. It will just delete tweaks and jailbreak related data and leave your user data intact. So for this demonstration, I'm going to deselect perform a full restore, click on jailbreak and see if that deletes enough data for the uncovered jailbreak to successfully run. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to come back and perform a full restore, which entirely wipes the device and puts it back on stock iOS, whatever iOS version you're running that is, it will not update you in any way. Anyway, let's get started on the unjailbreak process, transitioning over from Electra to the uncovered jailbreak. This is the first step. I'm just going to click unjailbreak. And it gives you a prompt saying it will erase all data and unjailbreak the device. Again, it's only going to erase jailbreak data if you have that checkbox deselected. So I'm just gonna click erase all and I'll be right back once this completes right here. All right, well, welcome back, guys. As you guys can see, my device has been restored. It is entirely unjailbroken. Yes, the city icon is still present, but none of these guys actually open, and those will be taken care of in just a second. All right, so now that we're at this step, this is the same step as if you're on stock iOS, so welcome back to those viewers. If you are just jumping to this point in time, we're going to install the uncovered jailbreak and then perform the jailbreak process. So 
just go ahead and download the Tweakbox app. Again, the link to this will be down in the description of this video. Basically, just select download app. This prompt will come up right here. You can click allow. It's going to install a profile on your device. We're just going to click install. And once that is done, as you guys can see, the Tweakbox app will be on your home screen. Now we can go ahead and enter into said app, wait for the pop-up or advertisement to be done, click out of the Xbox right in the top there, head to apps, navigate to Tweakbox apps, and then navigate all the way down to the bottom, um, and we're going to select the Uncover Jailbreak, and as you guys can see, you can see the version right here, RC6, that is the current version as of recording this video. A new version may be pushed here in the future. Just download the latest version, essentially. We're going to click Install right there. Click Install once more, and it will begin installing on the home screen. So I'm just gonna let this finish up, and I'll be right back. All right, so once it's installed, we can't quite open it up yet. We're going to go back to the Settings app and basically navigate to General, and then Profiles and Device Management right here, and then select the Uncover app right there and trust the certificate. And then now we can head back to the Uncover Jailbreak, and when we select the icon, now it will pop up. And as you guys can see, there are a couple options to choose from here. A lot of these are for advanced jailbreak users right here, but basically all you need to do is select jailbreak. So I'm just gonna click jailbreak and see how this jailbreak process goes. And it says notice the device will be restarted. I'll click okay. So it looks like it's performing a restart right now. We might have to run this application one more time to actually enable the jailbreak once it's completed, but it looks like its initial steps have gone off without a hinge yet so far. So things are looking good as far as the jailbreak process is going. So now we're back online. Let's go ahead and navigate. Well, let's just test Cydia out of curiosity. I don't think it's gonna quite open up. Nope, let's go back to uncover one more time and click jailbreak once more and it says exploiting and it looks like it crashed so I might wait next time just a few seconds maybe 30 seconds or so after restarting the device um, pop open up uncover and just let it sit there for a second I might have clicked jailbreak too soon after the device restarted it might have still been booting up a little bit Anyway, I'm just keeping most of this video in so you guys can see some of the struggles that I'm currently having um, and you guys might encounter as well during the transition. Anyway, my device is back online. I'm going to pop this up and now I'm just going to wait for about 30 seconds to let the device finish booting up. That should produce a higher success rate when actually jailbreaking again. So I'll just let this sit here for a couple of seconds and I'll be right back. All right, well, here we go. Let's go ahead and try it after the device has booted up a little bit longer. I'm just going to select jailbreak once more, and it looks like it's producing a better result so far. It hasn't uh, crashed yet, and there we go. Some progress is being made, and it's getting way further than it did before without rebooting, so it looks like it's going to work this time. So that definitely uh, did work. We're 47 out of 48. Hopefully it will complete. That would... Uh, hurt my soul a little bit if it failed this late in the exploit process, but let's wait and see. And 48 out of 48, the device is respringing. It looks like it works, so that is the key right there, guys. Just give it 30 seconds to a minute before clicking jailbreak, and it looks like it's going to work a lot better. Well, quite a long respring. It's been about 30 seconds, I would say, and it looks like the respring logo froze. I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit and see if it recovers. If not, I'm gonna have to run it one more time. Now the Respring logo disappeared. Let's see exactly what happens here. And we're back to the Apple logo. So it looks like it crashed once more and it's just restarting. Cydia still does not work, so let's go into the Uncovered Jailbreak for the fourth time now and click Jailbreak and see if this works. So if you guys notice right here, right after restarting my device, after it just crashed, I received a text message. I might have actually received said text message during the jailbreak process. That might have been why it actually crashed in this example that I just did. 
but here we go for the fourth time and this time does work so spoiler alert this time it does work all right well it's been about another 30 seconds let's go ahead and tap jailbreak and see if it will successfully jailbreak this time <laughs> it's just really interesting that there's 48 steps that's just impressive it looks like it's gonna work again but let's just hope that it gets past the respring process and comes back to the home screen without crashing this time All right, we got to the Respring logo again. Fingers crossed right now that this works. Ah, oh, yes, we are back to the home screen. All righty, and here's the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and open up Cydia. And there we are, Cydia is back online. We are all good to go. There's probably a couple changes. Um, basically, I'll just hit upgrade and uh, test out that make sure we can fully upgrade Cydia return to Cydia it didn't even crash out this time um, this looks sharp I mean it's that looks new to me like the big the big titles at the top I'm not entirely sure uh, that might be me going crazy but in any case here's the default sources that this jailbreak comes with um, pretty similar to that of the Electra jailbreak yeah, this looks fantastic. One thing that I did notice right off the bat with this jailbreak is that Cydia is full screen on the iPhone 10. So that's something different. The navigation bar is also corrected. This previously took two tweaks to accomplish. Hello, there's another fan. Um, this previously took two tweaks to accomplish this. Look right here, no more small apps to make Cydia full screen and then move up Cydia to fix the navigation bar. Um, at the very bottom. Yeah, still getting messages from fans. So thank you guys so much. You guys have been super polite and uh, Super inspiring. It's great to hear from all of you I'm trying to reply to as many of you as I can that are texting me, but in any case guys um, I'm super stoked city. has been slightly updated with this new jailbreak all in all, um, it says jailbroken. This really wasn't too bad of a transition process Honestly, I got a text during the third reboot um, and that might have messed things up, so it might be a good idea to throw your device in airplane mode um, before jailbreaking. Again, wait about 30 seconds or so after restarting to re-jailbreak or re-enable the jailbreak. That seems to be the key, but as you guys can see, um, I was really hoping this would work, and it did, using Rolectra, just deleting the tweaks and jailbreak information and not restoring the entire device. That did work to transition over to this new jailbreak, and all in all, that transition process wasn't too difficult, and Cydia looks a lot better. Um, anyway, guys, let me know what you guys are going to do down below in the comments section. Are you guys going to transition? to the uncovered jailbreak or not. I know some users are pretty fed up with the Electra jailbreak for various reasons. The new uncovered jailbreak seemed to work pretty damn well for uh, Pwned Own's very first jailbreak and I just wanted to take today to do a video on it and share my experience. Really, I tried to keep this video as uncut as possible to show you guys everything that happened. But yeah, let me know down below if you guys are gonna make the transition over to this new jailbreak utility over Electra. I'll let you guys know in a follow-up video as well of how it's treating me with my experiences if I'm having any difficulties installing tweaks or anything along that but I will rock this jailbreak for a little bit and let you guys know anyway thank you so much for watching today's video if you guys liked it don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and of course subscribe for follow-up videos on this anyway guys thank you so much for watching but until next time this is Tony signing out